There are a lot of people out there in the world who have a certain amount of influence. And as the digital age arose, suddenly that ability to gain influence grew in ways that no one expected, mainly via social media. There are all sorts of people who use social media platforms to go and grow their businesses and personas to insane levels and make a lot of money doing it. One such person is Amanda Cerny, who went from a no-name to one of the names in social media and beyond. But how is that going for her? Allow us to ask Amanda Cerny, where is she now? Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Amanda Cerny, an overview. Amanda Cerny is one of the hottest social media influencers out there. Cerny got her start making funny videos on Vine and quickly expanded her fan base to other social media sites. Today, she boasts more than 30 million followers, according to Pop Sugar, and has a blossoming acting career in the eyes of many. Before Cerny was on Vine, she was a business student at Florida State. I wanted to be in the CIA, she told Forbes. My mom has done Taekwondo her whole life and has had some special jobs. So I was like, that's the coolest thing ever. I want to be like my mom. That was my goal. But then I got some opportunities out in LA, so I decided to stay in the entertainment space. One of those opportunities was modeling for Playboy. I was nervous at first to be naked on set, but then I realized that everyone there had been doing it for like 50 years, said Cerny. They were the most professional ever, which is good to hear. But if you look into who she really is, you're going to find yourself looking at social media. Her internet life. While it might seem like Cerny set out to become an internet star and just stumbled into more traditional acting roles, it was the other way around. The actress found herself on social media to have something to show to prospective agents. I didn't know social media was a thing then, she said. I was like, it's a great platform, a case study to say people like my content. So it could be a good case study when I go to the agents. And it wasn't for like another year and a half until I really started doing it. This in and of itself is proof of just how much social media could go and help change people's lives. Because she could have easily followed the path of just going to Hollywood and hoping that people would give her a chance. But instead, she did the work her own way and then created a special space for herself to go and do things and then show them to people who might just get her jobs. And that's exactly what happened. So if anyone ever tells you that nothing good comes from social media, tell them what happened with Amanda Cerny and you'll see them recanting their statements pretty quickly. Growing in life. Originally known for her massive following on the social media platform Vine, she has exploded on YouTube and Instagram where she has over 19 million followers because of her popular comedy videos. She's more than just a funny girl who looks good on camera though. An extremely savvy entrepreneur, she's built her own multi-million dollar business through brand deals with companies like Paramount Pictures, Tinder, and Guest Jeans, and will continue to grow her empire with her upcoming lines of supplements and merch. Heavily involved in charity work, she frequently travels to areas affected by natural disasters like Haiti and Puerto Rico. But even she admitted that originally, her dreams lied in a different space. I wanted to be in the CIA. My mom has done Taekwondo her whole life and has had some special jobs. So I was like, that's the coolest thing ever. I want to be like my mom. That was my goal. But then I got some opportunities out in LA, so I decided to stay in the entertainment space. That right there shows how a simple opportunity can go and change your perspective on what you want to do. Using Vine to her advantage. Social media has come a long way over the years. Rewind a few years back and you'll see that TikTok wasn't even a thing. And go back a little further and you'll see that platforms like Vine were all the rage and Cerny was very happily a part of that rage. So I started Vine because I wanted to do more YouTube, and my friend Jimmy Tatro, who does a lot of YouTube stuff and has a show on Netflix now, I'm so proud of him, I reached out to him and said, Jimmy, if you ever need any actors for any of your stuff, just reach out to me. But he was going to New Orleans to film 22 Jump Street, so he was like, there's this new app Vine, you should check it out. 
I was like, okay, this making six second comedy skits, this is great. And just as important, Vine allowed her to really grow her comedy muscles, which she felt was a true showing of herself. You have to stick with what you enjoy and what you're good at. So me doing beauty vlogs all the time, I would feel fake doing it because that's not me. With comedy, I was always surrounded by comedians and joking around, and I loved writing, writing skits and sketches and stuff. Using what you have, appealing to those like you. While she absolutely has got her niche on lock, others out there in the social media space honestly aren't going to be as lucky right off the bat, or even a little bit after they start. So Cerny was more than happy to go and give advice on how to pick what is right for you. I think it's choosing your circle. For me, it was so beneficial to have so many characters to choose from when I was making my videos. If you're trying to do comedy or short-term videos, find a videographer who's trying to get into the space so you don't have to self-teach yourself everything. If you try to do everything yourself, the quality of your content isn't going to be that great. Find people to collaborate with who have expertise in a certain area. That way your content is high quality. Because nowadays, there's so much content out there that you need to make something that stands out, that's unique. She was also up for talking about how you need to be careful who you market to and who are honestly watching you. Mine is a majority 18 to 24 year olds, which they say is the lost boys because advertising to that age group is really difficult for brands. So that's why influencer marketing is really effective because you're getting direct marketing to that age group. I have to be selective in the brand deals I choose because my fans will know if it's a brand that I don't like or use. Acting out. Cerny's IMDb is jam-packed with credits. Her acting resume dates back to 2013 with an uncredited role on the show Hello Ladies. Notable credits include parts in Internet Famous, The Deleted, Public Disturbance, Ryan Hansen Solves Crimes on Television, Rim of the World, and Airplane Mode. Cerny is clearly doing pretty well for herself. The star is worth millions, and in May 2019, Variety reported that she bought a $2.36 million starter home in Los Angeles. The actress has come a long way, and it doesn't look like she is stopping anytime soon. Learning from Amanda Hearing all of this, you might think that Amanda Cerny is someone who lucked into money and success, but that's not true at all. She worked hard for what she had, and used what was around her and who was willing to help her to get famous and earn success. She's big on social media, she's doing a lot of acting, and she's not limiting herself to a singular thing or entity. That's smarts, and something that many could learn from. So if you look at her then, and compare her to now, you're going to see a savvy woman who didn't take things lying down, and went to the moon and back in terms of her career. Whether she ever gets to be in the CIA, though, is not something we can confirm or deny. So, what do you think? What do you think of this look at Amanda Cerny and how she has crafted a life for herself on social media and beyond? Are you surprised that she was able to go and get this popular this fast? Do you think that she is a blueprint for using social media and more to make your own way in life? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.